In this video, I am going to review and compare three Oud oils from Swiss Arabian and those are Oud Mubarak, Dhanal Oud Mubarak. Uh, then we have Dhanal Oud Shaheen. This one, let me show you the boxes. Dhanal Oud Shaheen, uh, Dhanal Oud uh, Mubarak, Dhanal Oud Mubarak, Dhanal Oud Shaheen. And the third one I am going to review is Dhanal Oud Cambodia, this one. So these are the three I'm going to review and compare. A lot of people, they uh, sometimes ask me that how are these Oud profiles and should a beginner buy these Ouds or not? So I'm going to answer this question uh, along with the review of these three and I'm going to compare these three oils. So let's get started. Now let me see which one is the bottles of Oud Shaheen and Oud Mubarak are almost the same so sometimes this is Shaheen this is Mubarak okay now first I'm going to review about the Oud Mubarak because this is the Oud for the beginners if you haven't smelled any pure Oud oil or any Oud oil uh, mostly the Oud oils that are on the cheaper side are mostly synthetic they are just uh, mimicking the actual oud profile or woodiness of the oud or leatheriness of the oud. So uh, the first one, if you are a beginner, if you want to try, this is going to be this one, oud, Dhanal oud Mubarak. Okay, so I'm going to show the bottle and the box. This is the bottle and this is the box, Dhanal oud Mubarak. You can see the juice inside it and uh, now I'm going to come to the point where you should know what is this it smells like. Now this is going to be for the beginners because it has sandal wood or sandal oil mixed in it because they actually want to try to tone down uh, the um, oud profile. Oud for the beginners is very pungent or maybe you can say very woody or very heavy on their heads so this is going to light it down so they try to mix sandal oil over here so let me smell it okay so now its profile is sweet creamy and woody so um, if you are a beginner you should try this one it doesn't have any funk or any uh, smell that is barnyard kind of smell that you get from Hindi Oud oils. So this is going to be for the beginners. It has sandalwood, it has sweetness which is coming from sandalwood which is a little bit of spicy, light spicy kind of sweetness. Then we had the creaminess. Creaminess is again coming from sandalwood because if you ever have smelled the real Masoor sandal, sandal oil, uh, they are going to smell mostly creamy and spicy. So then we have, it is a bit uplifting. You can use it even in summers. For me, I think if you are a beginner and you have very low budget, this is very cheap, 6 ml. Uh, I think it is going to cost you around uh, $30 max. Or in, in Pakistani rupees, it is like around 3000 rupees or 3500 rupees. So this is the one you should begin with. This is Oud Mubarak. Oud Mubarak. And this is the oil by Swiss Arabian. So this is, uh, this is the profile I described uh, to you. So this is the Oud for beginners. Now next we are going to come to Oud Shaheen. This one. Oud Shaheen. I'm going to make this very quick uh, and uh, so you can easily decide which one you have to buy or which one you should go with. Okay, so uh, Oud Shaheen is uh, uh, a little bit different from Oud Mubarak because uh, it is more on a tangerine or zesty side of Oud profile. So... Uh, for me, I think it has uh, a little bit of light. Um, sweetness is very low because I don't detect any sandal over here or sandal oil mixed in it. Uh, it's, uh, it, it mostly, I think, have aldehydes. Maybe I'm, I'm going to read from the back. Uh, 
um, glycol, uh, benzoyl, yes, uh, and uh, citrol. Okay, so it is mostly, I think, it is chemical based. It is not a pure oud oil, but uh, the profile they try to mimic is a woody, light, zesty, uh, or a little bit of uh, you can say citrus kind of oud oil. Uh, oud oils, if you have uh, experienced oud oils, there are some kabodi or some other oud oils that have zesty or tangerine or uh, you can say uh, very uh, sore kind of uh, smell in them. So this is this is the uh, this is their try to mimic this in oud shaheen. So if you are uh, a little bit fam familiar or you can easily use Oud Mubarak and uh, you, uh, so if you want some zesty or tangerine or zest kind of Oudi, woody smell, this is a bit woody, a bit, a little bit of leathery and a little bit of zest in it. So this is Oud Shaheen. So I have already described zest uh, with some leather and wood. wood. So it is again a light smell. It is not very pungent or not very heavy uh, for the beginners. I think this is again a good uh, start for, for the beginners. This is the Dahanal Oud Shaheen. Okay, the next I am going to come to this one. Kambodi, Dahanal Oud Kambodi. So this is, uh, I think, uh, the last one I'm going to review. And this is the more costly this is on the more costly side let me show you the bottle i really love the bottle uh, i'm going to sell the the rest of the two because i have a lot of uh, pure oud oils now but i started with these uh, oud shaheen and oud uh, dahanal oud uh, mubarak now this one i'm going to um, let me show you a bit more close up so you can see this is the box, this is the bottle. I really, really love the bottle. You can see uh, the cap on the top. This is really, really nice uh, thing with the bottle. So, okay, so uh, this is going to be a bit difficult for the beginners. If you are a beginner, this oud oil is not for you because it has some funk or barnyardy smell to this one. It feels like a uh, real Cambodi oil with a hint of uh, Hindi oils, Hindi Oud oils. So some people say that it is synthetic. I'm not sure because it feels to me um, the real Oud oil because it is just 3 ml and I think it was, um, it, it is more costly than the, those two. So yes, I think there there might be some chemicals mixed in it, but most uh, mostly I think uh, if there is uh, 3 ml, I think 2.5 ml is pure oud oil. You can see it says concentrated perfume oil, Dahnal oud Kambodi. So uh, this this the profile of this one, Dahnal oud Kambodi from Swiss Arabian. So profile for this one is. Uh, uh, a bit funk or barnyard, a bit uh, leathery, bit ambery, amber kind of, so it is a bit heavier side. So I, I don't think that you should try to apply this one in summers. Uh, for the rest of the two, Dahnal Oud Mubarak and these Dahnal Oud Mubarak and Dahnal Oud Shaheen, you can apply them in summers too. But, but this one, I think it is for winters. It is very heavy, very thick. And uh, you can see the juice inside. It is really thick oud oil. It has, uh, uh, if, you, if you talk about pure Cambodian oils, most of them, they don't have uh, that kind of funk. Uh, but from Hindi, if you look at Hindi oud oils, they have these kind of funk or barnyard kind of smell. It is not very... Uh, very hard in it, maybe 20% barnyard, maybe less than that. Then we have a little bit of Cambodi profile, ladri, Cambodi touch, which is like of caramel. But here we don't have that much caramel 
it it uh, it sounds to me a mix of more hindi oil and maybe a little bit of cambodia oil so uh, if you are looking for a cambodia oil and you like hindi oils this is going to be uh, the best one for you this one this is the hanal oud uh, cambodia from swiss arabian so it has a little bit of funk little bit uh, like i think 50% or 60% profile of an hindi oud oil which is a bit barnyard more leathery uh, more pungent a uh, bit heavy smell on the nose and uh, it has let me just apply it so to see some more so here we have it i'm not sure how they have made the thickness of this oud oil yes it has a cambodia to it's beautiful it's, it's if you are uh, into oud oils i think you should try this one so uh, if you are from arab countries or some uae or some somewhere like that they are very used to oud oils from their uh, childhood so this is going to be a good one for you if you want to have a cheap option or just start with ouds this is going to be the best one for starters if you are very beginner you haven't smell any oud this is a no a big no for you you are not going to like it uh, for the starters if you are just a starter uh, oud mubarak and oud shaheen these are the two you should look for these two so this is these are going to give you this one is a bit on sandalwood side it is very sweet uh, every everyone can be uh, can pull this off it is very pleasant for everyone this is a bit different you cannot say that everyone is going to be uh, pleased by this one oud shaheen uh, but still i think uh, uh, you can pull this off even in summers this is a good one both of these uh, both of these oils i think they are synthetic these both of these oils they are synthetic uh, this one the last one oud shahi uh, oud uh, cambodi the hanal oud cambodi this one feels uh, more natural to me it it might have some chemicals because uh, the thickness of this one or the uh, stickiness is very um, very uh, you can say strange for me most uh, oud oils i have used like more than uh, 30 uh, oud oils dif from different regions no one has a consistency like this one so but still i think it is 3 ml it is uh, 90% possible that this is a pure oud oil but for me i think there are two oud oil mixed or i'm not sure where they have sourced this oud oil but this is a good one uh, if you are uh, if you are looking for a pure oud oil So that is all this is my review about all these three oud oils oud mubarak oud shaheen and dahnal oud kambodi from swiss arabian i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have any questions or comments you have tried these uh, let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like subscribe and share this video with others uh, and uh, i will see you soon with another scent in the next video till then take care and bye bye